All right, the galvanometers. This is what you've been waiting for. These are the patterns that really amaze people at laser shows. They're hypnotic, they're complicated. They look really, really cool. A lot of times they're computer driven and they draw all sorts of shapes and write out your name and all sorts of fancy stuff. Most of that is a black box. It's just a computer program. You plug it in when you get to the show and you pack it up when you get home. The secret are galvanometers. Now these are two mirrors and each one of them is mounted to a galvanometer. A galvanometer is uh, kind of like a very precise motor. There's a coil of wire and a magnet. When you put in a signal, it uh, moves left to right. You can't go in a complete circle like a motor can. It's locked in position. These are general scanning galvanometers. And you shine a laser so it hits one of the mirrors, bounces off that mirror, and hits a second mirror. One controls horizontal, the other controls vertical. These are two different lasers. The blue laser is an argon laser. The green one's just a green pointer, a really nice pointer. Got them lined up so that they're overlapping each other. This is what the beam looks like when there's smoke in the air, and this is what the crowd goes wild over. Typically it's shot over the top of their heads. One of them controls the horizontal, the other controls the vertical. And it's the combination of these two oscillating frequencies that produces the geometric patterns. If it's just one, you get the XY, you combine them with different uh, frequencies, you can get a whole collection of patterns that are generated. Smoke in the air, overlapping, you get the tunnels, you get undulating patterns, all sorts of fun, exciting things. Now the question is, what am I driving these with? I don't have it set up to a computer. I'm actually playing it. I have my X and Y controlled by two keyboards, the horizontal keyboard and the vertical keyboard. It's just a signal generator. That's all I'm really using. But by combining different frequencies, I get my different patterns. And if my frequencies are close on the X and Y, you get this kind of oscillating pattern. If it's uh, harmonics, different kind of things like that, you get the, the moving, weaving patterns that are generated. Just simply playing my lasers. I've done this with a lot of laser shows, and uh, it feels like you're involved in the entire show. You change the pattern with the music, with the beat, whatever's being played. Both as a, a pattern effect and as a uh, beam effect. Now you can see the difference between the argon laser, which is the blue laser, and the greenie. Now the argon is a $5,000, 100 milliwatt argon. The greenie is a $100 laser pointer. And that's my lab. Well, thanks. That's it. And enjoy.